60 minutes overtime. You never want to just smack the ball or attack it. Uh -huh. You know, you should be, you be, just be nice to it. Uh -huh. that, was, that was my coach used to tell me, just be nice to the ball, don't slap at it. I mean, it frankly, it would be a wonderful movie. Somebody's got to turn this into a movie. But it, like I said, it's almost unbelievable. Catch it, got it in, and put pressure against it. Uh -huh. Squeeze, hold on tight to it. And bring it on in. Bring it on in. I, like, I have to say, like, we went into the story, and we kind of go into most stories this way, like, okay, let's, you kind of think of all the reasons not to, not do, to do it. The bait going on between Sharon and myself via text over the summer. <laughs> I'm like, look, look at this, this is amazing. He's like, yeah, but let's see if he, does he make the team? That's when, yeah. when we decided, yeah. if he gets to the combine, if he gets drafted and he plays with his brother in Seattle, oh, we're definitely doing this. Yeah. Not going to happen. Yeah. Right. And it happened. Yeah. I thought your 60 minute story was going to be about a one handed football player. And it turned out to be so much more than that. Guy, from your perspective as a producer, what is this story about? The story is about family, it's about brotherly love, about this commitment that two little boys made in their bedroom in St. Petersburg, Florida, we're going to stick together, come hell or high water. They can be hard to tell apart. Shaquem is on the left of your screen, and that's Shaquille on the right. The brothers made a secret pact as children. Your story is called The Pact, and it's a reference to this agreement they made as children. Sharon, you... You have a kid about... I have an eight-year-old. Yeah. They were eight years old when they made this pack. My eight-year-old says a lot of things that he has no intention of ever keeping. Uh, that's, that's the crazy part. We meant every word of it. Like, we had, the agreement was... They talked about living in the same house, house. playing on the same team. Uh, marrying marry twins. twins. Yeah. Marrying twins. You no know, same house, marry twins. <laughs> Have kids, raise them in the same house. Like that was an idea. The twin thing. The twin thing's a little strange. That's, 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 that's what have a house. These guys are never going to be apart. They're not. At one point, Sharon, mm -hmm. you asked Shaquem if he would have been angry if Shaquille had left him behind. Mm -hmm. Shaquille, you're getting offers from all these great schools. Your mom said even Harvard. Would you have been okay if he had gone without you? If he had said, I know we made this deal when we were eight, but I'm just going to, I really got to go. Tell the truth. I mean, it wouldn't be something that I would like. But <laughs> <laughs> I would have been happy for him. That's a good way to put it. It's kind of like a half and half. What do you think the truth is? I think he would have been upset, angry. It was a back and forth. Yeah, they, but because they know each other. They know what they're saying and what they really mean. 80% <laughs> you're angry, 20% okay, I gotta accept the fact that, you know, I gotta be happy for you. Yeah, I That's not about right. <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk about the Griffin brothers' parents. As a parent watching this, I'm, you know, making a lot of mental notes. Um, what can we all learn from Terry and Tangie from a parenting perspective? <laughs> they could write a book on parenting. They're awesome parents. One of my favorite moments is, you know, I asked him, how do you teach him to catch a ball without a hand? Well, you get hit in the face about five, six, seven times. You, <laughs> <laughs> you start, you're going to figure you're, out you're, real you're, quick. Yeah, you, you start catching. There was no babying yeah. going on in the Griffin house. No. And that probably is really good parenting advice. Yeah, Again, yeah. if something bad happens you five or six times, you figure it out, you yeah. sort it out. Did he ever come to you when he was little and go, why me? No. Never had that. Did you ever say, why him? No. He never came and said, why is this is happening to me? Never. I tell him to throw it on the back of the truck. Man, throw that on the back of the truck. We'll talk about that later. <laughs> <laughs> throw it on the back uh, of the throw truck. Throw it on the back of the truck. <laughs> they talk about language. The word handicap. Oh, mm -hmm. you, that's not a word that Shaquem will accept. Mm -hmm. We didn't use the word handicap. Mm -hmm. That kind of burns him up. Why does it burn him up? Because he's, he's, he's not handicapped. The word disability. Mm -hmm. An insult. You won't hear that in our story. Mm -hmm. You guys purposely didn't use those words. Because that's a vocabulary that's alien to the Griffin family. Mm -hmm. There's a, a moment in the interview when you're talking mm -hmm. with Tangie Griffin about this dark period, a low point for Shaquem, when he's in college, he's not getting played, and he wants to quit. Mm -hmm. And it's pretty revealing how she handled that situation. Yeah, it was a struggle for three years. 
And I explained to him, I said, no, you can't leave. Mm -hmm. I said, your brother sacrificed a lot. Mm -hmm. He's playing. He's turning out a lot of schools for you. Now you're going to have to continue to sacrifice. You cheer him on. I don't care if you go get pom-poms and cheer, mm -hmm. but you're going to stay there and you're going to support him. The same way we're going to support you guys, we're behind you, you're going to support him. He's got one hand, he's not being played. It would have been you know, understandable if she'd said, you know, you can quit. Mm -hmm. But she knows they need each other. It was a flip side of that pact. Yeah. He was really ready to quit. He was ready, he was ready. And if he was yes. leaving, mm -hmm. Shaquille was going to leave. It's not just about Shaquille, it's, it's also about, about Shaquille. Shaquille. Right. And over and over again, they make this decision, brothers above everything. Brothers above all. Mm -hmm. And it's, that's a great thing to hear in a time when people are kind of in it for themselves.